Depending on which way I would have went, if I would have just kept going in, in the square, and I don't know, I could have probably beaten the part time on this maybe with a hundred percent. But all depends also on the, the weaponry I used and the course of direction I went. Because really, there's an easier way to do this without backtracking. But you know, but other than that, this map indeed is fun. It's the it's the prime example of a typical map I enjoy in Wolfenstein 3D again, like like Floor One, where it's like basically like there's always action going on. You open up the door and you're already re ready ready to, to take on what's going what's happening in the room. Who is coming after you there? It's all right there. There's no mazes. There's no you know like hidden enemies. No death guards or whatnot. It's just a fun, like, very fast-paced map. Very repetitive, though, uh, but it is very fun. Um, of course, like I said, it's repetitive, meaning that, again, it's very easy in this map, in my opinion, to get 100% for everything. 
uh, kills, secrets, and treasure. Well, secrets also because they're all basically in the same spot. Like, if you find the first secret and then you continue on with this map, you'll, you'll, you'll get the pattern, like, very quickly of, of like, you know, how the rooms are set up, how the hallways are set up. Although, I was surprised, though, in that first, like, hallway we went down at the beginning, for some reason, they removed the Shustafel in there. I'm not sure why they did that. It was very strange indeed. You would think they would have, like, all those hallways, like, exactly the same how it would be, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, not much more to say. Again, it's a very fun map. It's definitely one of my favorites in the game, as well as a lot of other people's. But now we're going to move on now to Floor 5 in the next video, which the second half of these maps do get a little bit harder, and I would definitely say Floor 5 is one of the harder maps in Episode 5. Until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993.